fitting the elevator to an existing crawler first. Remove the camera and the light head if you've got one fitted. Also remove the battery. The elevator will be supplied with it tie wrapped like this so it won't expand. What you do is you put it over the top of the crawler. I'll turn it around so you can see. So that it's over where the battery connect normally goes. Now it has to go back far enough so that the large screw at the front then connects to where the camera usually goes. These screws might impede you, so lift it up and push it back slightly and make sure that it can go backwards. Once you're in that position, turn it back round again and you need to get to the large screw that's underneath here, the collar, and as you turn that the elevator will move backwards. If you find a bit of resistance, just move the elevator slightly. And then just keep on going. Moving the elevator now and again, just to make sure that it does go in fully. And then it just hand tight on that collar, turn it round and make sure that these two connectors are aligned and there's no gap between these two parts here. That means that the elevator is fully backwards. Next thing we need to do is to fit the uh, camera and the light head. It's easier to fit the light head first. And we'll do this before we release the elevator. Now the elevator's got a reasonable amount of uh, pressure in it at this point. It won't be balanced until the camera and the light head's on it. So if we cut these now, it will rise up quickly. So we want to stop that happening. So what we'll do is we'll put the light head there, do up the two Allen keys and bolts there. One and two. There we go, they're in position. Now fit the 812 camera. Let's make sure that it aligns before the screw thread will go in. There we go, that's on. Screw that right in. There's no need to use the C-spanner. The pressure will hold this in place and it won't undo. Okay, so once we've got to this position, the elevator is balanced and we can cut the two tie wraps. There we are. The elevator has got a clutch, so you can actually move it up and down. Move it to the up position and tighten these two screws here. This will lock the elevator onto the top of the crawler and also it's good for a double check. These screws won't go in unless the collar is fully turned. There we go, that's the two Allen keys. And then fit the large battery from behind. There we go. Usually it will start up and rotate. There we go, and they'll switch back off again. Okay, so once we got to this position, we're fully assembled. What we can do next is to make sure that it pressurizes. So we'll pressurize it up to 50 PSI, and we'll leave it there just for a couple of minutes to make sure the pressure is retained. Now, if the, you're used to pressurizing a crawler without a light head and without the large battery, then compared to those, it takes a little while more to pressurize it. There's quite a lot of area inside this now. So what you'll find is the pressure will go up and then it will drop immediately down again. And what's happening is the air pressure is going through the crawler, through this connector, through these uh, pipes here, into the large light head and into the 812. But the important thing is that once you reach and stabilize at 50 PSI, then it will stay at 50 PSI. 
There we are, that's up at 50 psi. We just leave that there for a couple of minutes just to make sure that the pressure doesn't reduce. And once we're happy that it's holding pressure, we can remove the pump. This is just a double check to make sure that all the O-rings are in place. There we go, so that's a fully pressurized system. And if we turn the wheels, of course, it generates electricity and the cooler will start to initialize. We'll do that once and then it will turn back off again. There we go, that is ready for use. Now doing this the other way, first thing you need to do is to remove the battery. So I can push the elevator down. Also, by the way, while we're at it, uh, it's important to know how to lift this. And the way to lift it is to lift up the elevator completely. And then the best way to lift a crawler in this situation is have one hand under here, one hand here, and lift it like that. That's the safest way to do it. Don't try and lift it with the elevator down as it may spring up and uh, you may get your fingers trapped. Okay, so disassembly, remove the large battery. Well, first of all, remove the pressure from the system by using something in the connector. Right, we'll remove all the air pressure from inside the elevator and the whole system. It takes a bit longer to get the pressure out because there's lots of pressurized vessels now. Next thing we do is undo these two here. And then we'll remove the camera and the light head. Okay, so they're undone. Camera off next. Yeah, don't try this if it's pressurized because it, it's a, very difficult to remove the camera, but it will let the pressure out before it gets to the end of the thread. Okay, light head can be removed now. Let's bring it down so you can see it better. Okay, make sure the screws are both lifted fully. The light head won't come out forwards unless they are. There we go, that's off. Okay, so that's most of the weight relieved from the elevator, so it's going to want to spring up all the time. So the next thing we do is to hold the back of the elevator here, grab the collar here, wiggle this slightly, and that allows you to undo the collar. You can use the C-spanner on that if you need to and then make sure that these two bolts get out of the way. So you'll release the collar slightly and then these two Allen bolts will uh, tighten back up again. And they impede moving the elevator forwards. Let's wiggle the back of the elevator. Once the uh, body of the crawler or the elevator bolts here are clear of the holes then what you can do is get it to this point and then what we'll do is we'll secure the elevator and to do that you'll need two tie wraps so what we do is push it fully down and then we'll put a tie wrap just here now without the camera head and the light head then the elevator's always going to want to open back up again. So stop that happening, fully close it, put one tie wrap on it there. You're safe now, we can remove it from the system. There we go. <coughs> Get the crawler out of the way. And then what we can do is fit the tie wrap the other side. Don't fit them here because that will stop it going onto the, the crawler body. There we go, that's it fully removed.